All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me flip this over to make sure we're good. Okay, there we are. Another game. I'm Turn One Glistener Elf. Another game of Legacy. I'm testing for Star City Games Atlanta. The uh, Invitational's coming up, but there's an open along with it. And so with my good friend, he who shall not be named, unless you want to, last video you did. I'm, so. I'm Devin. Oh, well, he's Devin now. Hi, Devin. And you guys already know my name. I'm Jay. They'll keep saying it during videos and whatnot. All right, to start off, forget the die roll. We're going to play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yes. All right. Now. I know that he wouldn't say that, but at the same, but he knows that I know that he wouldn't say that, which, oh, makes me want a next level, let's see, hmm, I play a lot of uh, means, uh, rock, paper, scissors in real life, but this is completely different, <laughs> if anyone's wondering out there, this is a completely different game. Which one has the best puns on it, that's how you decide. All right. All right. Well, he knows it. Okay. Okay. I I pulled it up. So you would have had me though. You would have had me. Either way, you got it. I pulled it up, being like, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, dang it. All right. There we go, my friend. All right. We can set down. Yeah, that's good. If we need any tokens, we'll get out some rock lobster and paper tiger tokens. All righty then. Oh, we've already, yeah, we've already done all that. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Flip it around. I like this hand. Um. Trying to say something about giving it away. What do you think? I think this is a keep. I don't think this is a mall. It's definitely not a snap mall. Then again, I know what I'm playing against. Yeah, this uh, sounds pretty sketch. Got some uh, cards, some card draw, but uh, I'm gonna have to burn this fetch to use it effectively. Mm. Um, but can't really do that since it's the only one. All right, and before we begin, it's not official, at least not on this kitchen table, without some tea. So there you go, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet. All right. Little gray. That's it. Let's get ready to rumble. And I'm not gonna do that forever. All right. You want to do a casual mulligan for this? Nah. We, okay. Yeah, if we're practicing, we might want to keep it the way they do it there. Oh, for sure. I mean, it completely uh, destroys the strategy of mm. mulliganing. That's true. Well, you would have brought this deck anyway, though, so... It's not like you'd play a different deck knowing you're going to get better and more mulligans. Yeah, but I want to, like... You know, maybe that hand, I should have kept it. Ah. Uh, you know. I got you. The more you mulligan, mm -hmm. and then draw crappy hands because you mulliganed, the less likely you're to mulligan in the future. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, well, I'll keep this hand. All right, you're up. Cataxi improve. Those are your lands. Those are your pumps. Two Blighted Agents, a Plague Stinger, Invigorate, Mightable Crosa, Misty, and Verdant. Um, well, this will return when I write this down. Yeah. Um. Well, oh, that's pretty much death. It makes um, show and tell a lot harder to, you know, show and tell in a blighted agent, pump, pump, and if I have another, that's it. Draw. I'll that's play revealed. Especially since we're still on camera. Make sure that's still in the frame. 
Eh, it's, it's in there just a bit. You can see that, right? Okay. Oh, it's your turn. Uh, that's not my graveyard. Yes, my graveyard now has a scissors lizard, a rock lobster, and a paper tiger. How'd you get there? Alright. Hmm. Huh. Didn't realize they couldn't attack or block. Now, the question right now is, I, I don't have a Gitexian probe in hand, so do I... Assume that he has Blood Moon, because some of these lists run Blood Moon and go for a basic, or... Uh -huh. Yeah, I know, right? See, right now I don't have any... Yeah! Let's make it a forest. If he does, he'll nullify my other... Um, my fetch land, it'll just be a mountain, but he still won't be able to show and tell, will he? Or will he? Actually, he might be able to. That's still 9 damage, though. There you go. And pass. The Ancient. Yep. And go. Oh, thank you. Why, thank you, good sir. Fetch again? Because life doesn't really matter in this matchup. Where are you? The hunt for the white border. Ah, there you are. And it's going to be a blighted agent. Will that be counted? <laughs> Will it resolve, I guess, is the, the question. Mm. <clears throat> we do have another one. Yep. Okay. What's your rule? Uh, no. misdirection. Ooh, misdirection makes sense. All right, and that's turn. Uh, crack Misty Rainforest. Okay. Touch Volcanic Island. Makes sense. <clears throat> yep, double red. Yeah. I'm just saying that. That's good. Sneak attack. Yep. Take two damage from my ancient tomb. Take and two points. irrelevant life points. All right, there we go. Well, so that's a thing. There's no way I'm going to be able to race him in terms of permanence. So if that's in rock cool. It's probably game. No, that's game. What am I talking about? That's game. Put out a Misty. <clears throat> Gotta try it anyway. Lighted good? Lighted is good. Alright, pass turn. Put it red? Yep. Grizzlebrand. Grizzlebrand. Pay seven life. 
Yep. Go to nine. All right. Draw seven cards. Find yourself an Imrakul. Seven. You're at 18. That does not sound like a man who just drew a Mrakul. Maybe it's a man who's digging? Yep, uh, and I dad jinxed it, dang it. All right. for Let's go to game two, shall we? Game two. <laughs> and this is why I don't play poker. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go boil some tea, actually. Give me just one second. You're a junkie, man. What's that? You're a junkie. Okay. Something like that, right? Cards that are good against him. Yeah. Might not be bad. Let's see. He's pretty afraid of these. These, I find, are just awesome, no matter what. Expensive, but solve all of your problems. Hmm. Like Caracas. Oh, let me uh, flip that around so you can show them and so I don't see. This is a given. Um, I've actually found, not you, these to be pretty useful as well. So that's what I'm going to try for. Now what to take out? Well, where are you? You do jack here, so no. And I think I may have to relieve you of your duty as well. Um, it's just, it's a little slow. Or rather, I should say, I, I could use those slots on something else. Looking back at it, that was actually a pretty slow hand against your deck, but the alternative seemed to be worse, so... Yeah. Still think I had to keep. So, this was, these remain, and they don't really affect the kind of spells that I need them to affect. Um, whereas these... These do. Ooh, yeah, you saw that. And... I mean... They're usually good, so... <clears throat> And as for these, I'm just not sure what kind of hate he's packing, so I'll probably save that for game three if necessary. Triple sleeve. Triple sleeve? Yeah. They're getting kind of old. They're getting kind of hard to shuffle. So one of my opponents at uh, SCG Atlanta, the last one I went to, was a test player. I mulled to six on the first hand, on uh, the first game, and yeah. one. Mulled to six on the second and did not get a chance to cast a spell or even play a land. <laughs> a test? A test player. Test uh, The Epic Storm. Yeah. Yeah. And then... So, like, Burning Wish instead of the usual, like, Ad Nauseam and uh, Past and Flames route. Yeah. That sort of thing. And Gemstone Mine instead of just two color. The kind of guy that'll silence you before he'll try to go off instead of attacking your hand or just attacking your hand. Hmm. At least I, th I would describe the difference between them that way. That's an interesting way to go. I think it might save you more yeah. cards, but it might be less safe. It is definitely a lot faster than Ant. I, well, I don't know about a lot faster, but it's more likely to go off before your opponent gets a chance. Um, coming around to get the water. Uh, anyway, the third game, 
I also went to six because the cards stuck together, and I called a judge over on myself, and yeah, I took two cards, shuffled them back in, and then said, okay, now with your new six, will you keep? Well, not, he didn't say that, but that's, that's what happened. Let's roll ourselves back up to 20, let the game begin. Flip it around so we frame ourselves. You can no, go for know. it. Okay. Uh, no land. That'll do it. So, this card. How good will it be? We'll find out. We all know this is good, but you know. Um, we'll get there. Especially about six. Hey. Let's try that again. Frame again. Now, do you know why I keep my card sleeves upside down? Because they're triple sleeves? Actually, it's to mess with my opponents. I kid you not, that is actually my reason. So, uh, this is the card normally. The card upside down, thank you. Is that? <laughs> it. I have had opponents come out, or not come out, but just be like, your sleeves are upside down, you know that, right? Yeah? Just, dude, why? <laughs> ah, this is, this is fringe. This is, I don't even know. Would you keep? Would you? No. Post in the comments, would you keep? Oh man, yeah. yeah. Well, no pumps, my infectors are lands, but you can blood moon. So, I don't think I can keep that. Not a creature in sight, not a real creature in sight. Let's go to five. And sometimes with this deck, you just... I mean, that's it doesn't mulligan well, let's put it that way. It's like a recipe, you need... One part creature, one part land, one part, two part, three parts, nine parts, uh, pumps. And if you don't have a good mixture, or if you don't at least have some of each, then you're just out. So, that was zero pump. How was I going to win? You had the Noble Hierarchs. That's... I did have the Noble Hierarch, and if, I have... If it were a grindy match, mm. that might not be bad, but you know yeah. you're playing Sneak and Show. That's right. What is this, stacks or something? No. I have actually uh, gotten a noble kill before. I tried to do it at SCG Atlanta. There's a guy I played against named Cam, who I was hoping he wouldn't realize, because I was dead anyway, so I was hoping he wouldn't realize his Deathrite Shaman was, you know, wasn't summoning sick anymore and could tap to give him life. He did. Got into one. Okay, this is cruel. This is just cruel. Come on. Do I have to keep this? I think I have to keep this. Uh, what four... What four could do? I don't know. Okay. Your call. Uh, you say it in the comments, right? I need to go down to four. Mm. Which means that, yeah, I'm going down. Yeah, that's, that's the universal sign of... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> without actually... How they're going to go. Nope. Uh, would, it, would it have been bad? Blighted Agent, Plague Stinger, Berserk, 
Ink moss, ink moss. So no color. Jeez. I mean, even if I had drawn him with pump, still no color to cast him. And no forest to uh, play the invigorate for free. So that's a thing. Yeah, All right. The, it's the old ten turn clock. Mm. Or five turn clock. Oh no, no ten turn. Yeah, ten turn. Okay, <laughs> that's a keep. It has to be. Uh. Let's go hunting now. And, um, faster. Welcome to Sneak and Show versus Infect, where the life doesn't matter, so the points don't matter. Yeah. Hence my paying two life for Gitaxian Pro. Yep. Pretty standard play. Ooh. Creature, pump, land. I don't have much of a choice. This is why I kept this hand. Oh god. Draw card. Ancient tomb. Yep. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. Show and tell. Red. Red. Okay. Blood moon. I was debating. Do I go for it? Pass. Hmm. I don't know if it would have actually made a difference. Watch me draw into a Glistener Elf or something. Um, Verdant Mountain? Yep. <laughs> Pass? Yeah. Let's play... I don't know if that was strictly speaking a misplay is what I'm saying. Because I didn't know you had it, I couldn't probe you to find out. Volcanic Island. Volcanic Mountain. Yeah, I got you. Um, pass. Okay. In Fourth Mountain, pass. Draw. Mm -hmm. Actual Island. Ah! No! Oh, it was in my Hunter. opening hand. Yeah. <laughs> Which was so clutch. Whew. Um... Yeah, I don't think we keep this on top. I'm gonna shuffle that away. I need right. some better need some action here. Probe land land. That'll do. No. So even if even though I get one card deeper, I'm still still locked for a turn. That's right. And you're pretty you're set up right now. I got my colors. That's it. I played Blood Moon Main against Wesley, and he just kept drawing islands and planes, and I was mm. like, well, <laughs> that'll do, bro. Okay. Yeah, I could hear, I should have been able to hear you yelling at me through YouTube, just be like, <laughs> no, not the bayou! It's more of a possibility. I didn't have anything to gain from it except for maybe a top deck Plague Stinger or something. Or one of my sides, but I didn't need it for that. Alright. How did you do? Um, pass. Alright. Speaking of which, <coughs> Tropical Mountain, pass. Misty Rainforest. Okay. Now, uh, I don't normally like to go below 14, mm -hmm. um, because if I'm above 14, I can double Grizzle Brand. Um, but in this case, I think it's okay. Instead of paying the blue off the island? Yeah. 
I'm going to pay two for Gitaxi Improve. All right. Um, let's see what you got. There is the Plague Stinger I was hoping for. Okay. Gotcha. And let's play Sneak Attack. Yep. Pass turn. If you're not going to pay the blue for it, I figure. <clears throat> Good games. I don't actually have a creature, but... Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you want to scoop... You don't? Uh, okay. Pass turn. Red, 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 red? No. Scalding turn. Pass turn. Well, let's see if it would have made a difference. Mountain. Uh, pass. Mm. Mountain. Pass. Ah, dang it! Pass. Pass turn. Yep. <coughs> Pass turn. Oh, look at that. Brainstorm. Yep. Here it comes. One, two, three. What? Or was that a good click? A good for you? Uh, not really. So you're brainstorm locked for two turns. Yep. Your turn. All right. <coughs> Pass turn. You know I have literally one card in this deck that can save me because I didn't friggin' fetch for it. Um, if that's how this ends, yeah. I'm just gonna like throw the trophy at you or something. And then you show up. Pass turn. All right. Draw. Mm -hmm. Play. Pass. I'll be out of my lock pretty soon. Draw yeah. fresh. That's it. Pass. Draw fresh in three, mm -hmm. two. Pass. Just trying to arrange my lanes. Pretty. What am I at? Six cards. Pass. Wait no, these are these are actually in my hand. So, That's yeah, right. You got to discard. I should. Okay, so last turn it would have been. Um. Oh, you're the discard for this turn, and last turn it would have been. All right, there we go. <clears throat> um. Okay. As in many games, this has become the worst card in my hand. And pass. Misty Mount. Pass. Alright. Brainstorm. Yep, here we go. One, two. Oh, this is hilarious. Three. If only I could crack my fetches, oh! I'd be able to do something about this. Um, Lotus Puddle. Yep. Land. Pass. Okay, so now I feel... If I had gone for that forest... Yeah. Yeah, that was... No, that, that wasn't just my draw. That's been out for, like, forever, so... It's starting to feel more and more like a strict misplay. Pass turn. Man, if I hadn't blood mooned, I'd be so f***ing dead. Yeah, if you had blood mooned and I weren't such um, a baka over here. Draw. Go. Man, it's actually what it says on the card. So, again, I was supposed to have discarded. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Counter! Counter! Force of will! Force, Force. of... Okay. <laughs> okay. Go to 13.
Yes, faster. Uh, See how many more of those you got. All of them. Look at that beautiful land base. Lotus petal, faster. Yeah, this is actually a deck tech. I'm just <laughs> we're just slowly laying out our lands. Noble. It's good. Pass. Um, pass. <sighs> You're at thirteen. Mm hmm. That's it. Pastor? By the way, I'm at 19. Draw. Yep, here it comes. Ponder. Okay. One, two, three. Finally. Yep. Uh, well, if it's in Rock Cool, I may have a chance. I mean, plenty of Annihilator targets. If it's both. I'm effed. Well, no, it's Ponder. You can only get out one this turn. Draw. Hi. Sack Lotus Petal. Yep. Brainstorm. Yep. All that digging, man. Mm. Okay. Alright, we've uh, got I plays. see the smile. Here we've we go. Plays. Tap. Sack show, uh, Lotus Petal. Sack Lotus Petal. Show and tell. Show and tell. <laughs> okay. Hey, get back on here. Tap two. Barclasm. Yep. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Pyroclasm is two damage. Two damage to each creature. <sighs> Invigorate, gain three. Oh, he'll gain four, you gain three life. Okay, I get a 15. Yep. Um, of course it will that. Ooh! Okay. Now I'm back into thinking about it. Yep. Bloop! Score. That's it. Um, pass turn. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Resolves? Oh, uh, yes, it's good. Okay. Something good. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, how many lands you have? If I'm counting correctly, you almost could have hard cast that thing, right? Which gives you the nine, extra turn. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I could have. Uh. I could have. And. <laughs> um. Two cards in hand that I don't know uh, about. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna swing for fifteen. No blocks. Um, before damage, I gotta. Pick six. Well, if 
cards in hand? How many? Two. Two. That's four. Leaves me a five. I'm not sure. It probably won't matter. He's not going to get out from under his own. I guess I could just get the net draw. Alright, that's six, and then I go down to four. Here it comes. And second blood move. Just in case of Just you know, in case. Abrupt decay. Now that hits basics too, right? Would you do two? No. Okay. Alright. Uh, your turn. Hmm. Uh, can only assume because he didn't save the Glistener Elf that he doesn't have enough pump spells. Maybe he has exactly enough pump spells and he wanted to save them. We shall soon see. Uh, yeah, but even if I ha I don't have a, another forest for it anyway. That's why that Invigorate was so painful, giving it up like that. Yeah. That would have been had I kept the Invigorate. So this was just misplay central. No, I don't know. Keeping the Bloody Agent seemed like the right idea. I think it was the right idea. Yeah. Looking back, at the time, just like the Bayou Fetch, at the time it seemed like the right idea. Because Sneakman's Show decks only run, what, like, two Blood Moons usually? Or do you run three so that you uh, can intuition? I used to run two main. Okay. Um, but now I run two side. Okay. Um, the reason I debate that is because of... Um, uh, so intuition is top three, or no, pick three, uh, two of them go to the grave, one comes to your hand. So yeah. you keep three Blood Moons so that you definitely get one. Um, so, given that, I figured you weren't, if you had two, you weren't going to uh, search for it. With It'd make it less likely for you to get it in your hand off of it. I think Intuition Blood Moon is a little slow. Mm. Just Especially because, like, you tap out for Intuition, or I, mean, I guess if you do it in the turn, it's not bad, but you're kind of just telling yeah. them, giving them more time to get fetch basics. Mm. You want to play one just for fun? Just, well, the, what just I mean, these fun? are just for ice, you know what I mean. Uh, to, just a number three. Sure. Did you? You go first on this one. Oh yeah, let's actually cut each other's decks and whatnot. I was wondering... Why, oh, you know, you can put those, you can keep sided. Basically what I'm doing is I'm saying, how would it have gone, had it gone to game three? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That moment where I say, I want you to beat me so that I don't have to beat myself up quite as bad for <laughs> costing myself up. Because yeah. I, I did that when that... Did I say that on camera? The sneak and show player? No, I don't think I did. Um, game one... Yeah, I did. I did. I said that about the... When I was ever getting the water for the tea. The uh, Annihilator 6, and I sacked the land when I needed to keep it for Invigorate. I don't yeah, know why. In, in that situation, I don't think it mattered what you... In that one it, just now. Oh, yeah, in this... Um, had I gone for the forest, Glistener Elf early, and then... Or I say oh, early. That, that would have definitely yeah. got you the game. Mm. But, but no, at the enemies. time, I couldn't have known. That was... That's what Sneak and Show does, yeah. I've, I haven't seen a Sneak and Show control quite like that before, though. Uh, the only time I've ever... I was playing 12 posts the last time that happened. But you're 12 posts. By the time they Blood Moon, you're already almost able to cast, to hard cast uh, in Rockle and whatnot anyway. Or at least an Eldrazi. Ulamog, destroy Blood Moon. Suddenly, 49 mana. Hmm. By the way, did you see that 12 post is now a uh, three color build? It's a three color deck? Really? It's a rug now, yeah. What do they run? So the red is for side, usually sideboard uh, sneak attack, but mostly it's there for bonfire of the damned. You have mm. enough mana, you can make ex. You that can make a bonfire. That sounds pretty fire. sweet. Yeah. Yes, it is exactly as awesome as it sounds. Uh, before true name nemesis, that was just a field white. Now it's almost a field white. 
Yeah. Yeah, that whole can't be damaged thing. Dang it. Oh, true name nemesis. Usually I don't care about it with this deck. I mean, three of my creatures have evasion anyway. Uh, and he's, he's slow. He's really slow. For this kind of thing. I feel like the only time you'd worry is if he got equipped with Sword of Fire and Ice. Or that would, Yeah, something like that would wreck me. Two damage to that creature, two damage to that creature. Um, although, Ink Moth Nexus can get around it. That's happened before, because it's not a creature at the time. Unless I just am drunk and forget, and I don't know, something like that. You know, in response, I'm going to block you, idiot. <laughs> something like that. So how'd your week go, on a scale of PE to OCHEM 2? Um, stress level zero. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting a job right mm. now, I'm not really doing class. I got you. Wait. What year are you again? You um, know, I graduated you last graduated. year. You graduated. Aren't you going back to school, though? Weren't you going to go to grad school? Yeah, I was, but I'm not going to anymore. Oh, okay. Decided to live the life of a magic player. That'll do it. Not necessarily playing magic as much as a professional magic player, but... I understood. I'm not trying to be a professional or anything right now. You don't have a standard deck, do you? I do, I have a couple. You do? Oh, excellent. Do you? Yeah, no, but I'm pretty close to a Selesnian aggro deck. Uh, because I already have, for instance, the four voice of resurgence. Yeah. I use those in the five color elementals deck. Yeah. So, they're beautiful there. They're just gorgeous, what they do. Alright, so you got the play this time? Okay. Oh, that was a question. Do you want it? Um, let's roll for it. Let's roll for it? Okay. Or, <laughs> play rock I want to do random, or no, we can do whatever. Well, this is better. This okay. Is strictly better than dice. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I meant random as in, like, you don't even look to see which one you're going to Oh, pick. I like picking. Okay, let's do that. Hmm. This is always a follow-up. Scissors yes. beats paper. Okay. There we go, then. I could explain the complex psychology of that play, but, uh... Wait, 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 what are you... Oh, yeah, I was about to say, holy crap. Start out with how many cards in hand? Oh, no, seven. just seven. I thought you had your seven and then we're drawing. I'm like, whoa, whoa! <laughs> alarm, alarm! Mm. Yeah, I like this hand. You tired, man? I'm always tired these days. It's good, though. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Am I gonna keep? Am I gonna keep? You know what? I think I'm gonna keep. Okay. Ponder. Makes sense. Absolute garbage. Yeah. That's why we ponder. Some people advocate not pondering on turn one. I guess if you don't know um, what your opponent's playing or what you True. don't need, but in a combo deck you always know what you need. Mm. You need the other piece of the combo that you don't have. True that. Nah, I'm gonna try not to. I think I saw an ancient tomb on the bottom. Oh, that's fine. I think so. You're gonna cut if you want to make him shiny, by the way. Um, I have a, I think it's three, yeah, it's four minus one from the, the theft. So I have three ancient tombs if you want to just, you know, foil them up. Oh, wow, that's cool. I mean, show I've off. got like two. Show off there. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't really consider promos to be like, yeah. foiled, you know? Oh. I mean, they're, they're, I, they're, they're definitely foiled, mm -hmm. but I would prefer the, I like the original. I got gotcha. you. They don't have the same prestige as an actual foil of the original card. Yeah. I'll agree to that. And pass. Okay. Let's see what I got. Let's go fetching.
Let's see how badly the camera was thrown off. Okay. That's livable. Someone OCD watching this might have a hard time, but... And I apologize for that. Chalk Island. Not afraid of the blood ring, eh? Good God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still... I'm still... I mean, the odds are in my favor, but... I didn't play it turn one. Yeah, that is... that's a thing. That is quite a thing. Now, part of the reason that I'm not... is because I'm doing a turn one noble hierarchy. Yeah, well, that'll definitely help you out there. Alright. That results? Yep. Alright, pass turn. What? What is this? Hmm. Not actually a tricky line of play, I just need to make sure I don't goop this up. Good. Okay, two. two. Alright. Get you below 14 as quickly as possible, right? Noble or at 14. Right? Deck over here. Yeah, that's how this deck's <sighs> supposed to run, you know? Faster. So. Yep. Legacy Exalted. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, exalted is never good. Well. It's pretty good to draft. It's pretty good, yeah. I, I've never, I didn't draft in 13, or, and, uh, Shards of Alar was, I never yes. drafted that. It was the set that I got into, or started Magic, but I didn't really know what drafting was at the time. Okay. Um, yes. That's how it goes. Notice Petal. Okay. I was about to say, you don't tap three, but Trinisphere is out, right? <laughs> Um, how about we daze that? Daze? Well, uh, I do have something to say about that. Um, okay. Your turn. Cards in hand? Two. Swing two. Wait. Pumps. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Invigorate. <laughs> hey, okay, let me let me do some math here. Seventeen. God dang it. <laughs> Put you back up to twenty. Invigorate. Results? Results. I got a 20. Yep. He is a 6 7. Now he's a 12 7. 12 7. Results? Yep. Another berserk. Again. <sighs> With days back up. <sighs> that never happens. Now that was good, man. But dang it, you didn't beat me! Ah, oh, it's good. That was awesome. So, what are you expecting to, you think, will come across um, over at SCG Atlanta? I, it's been a while since Mac, Max Teats has put up a uh, Goblin's win, but he did it twice in a row, so I kind of think that we'll still see a decent number of Goblins. It's a pretty anti-meta deck when you think you're going to run really, really blue. Uh, Cavern of Souls, Aether Vile, Goblin Lackey, they all get around Force of Will. Um, 
in their own special way. Other than that, though, I wouldn't know what to, what I would come across. Surgical extraction actually was a side in for me to get around. Uh, if you sneak attack and then once it hits the grave afterwards, yeah, just remove them all. I'll take one hit. But hopefully, I won't take another. I guess that's the most frustrating thing about being a sneak and show player, seeing the look on your opponent's face after they, they snuck at you once and they can't draw into their answer again. They, you know, they Grizzle brand or bust. That's it, right? Alright. I think the extraction's good enough for this match. I think so. Uh, although it only hits one of your ways to shoot them in. And even then, it doesn't even do it preemptively. But I never fetch myself to death. If I fetch myself down to 15, I'm in trouble. I generally don't like uh, surgical extraction just to remove things from the library. It might be good in this matchup. I, I mean, but what else do I really have? Days? Nature's Claim. That's kind of preemptive against... Uh, no, it's not even uh, against sneak attack. Um, if I tap out for it like that, it's good. It's good then, yeah. I'll, I'll agree to that. And you gain four completely irrelevant life. Uh, even then, though, it's... I've been debating Croissant Grip. Not so much for this sort of thing, like counter spells, but because of Chalice of the Boy. So much of this deck is a one drop that Chalice just eats this deck. I've played lands, mm. uh, got them on turn two, the first game, and then turn games two and three were, were just this these grind vests with, uh, on their first turn. Yeah, I think it was their first turn. Uh, land, Mox Diamond, and then Chalice of the Void. No, because during one game I was able to get out a Blighted Agent first, so that wasn't it. Um, you down for more? I'm down for much more, man. Sweet. Always, always more. I'm gonna... uh, let's check the time. 10-11. The camera has to be returned. Uh, by 11 o'clock, but we can do some play over there. And I have some other decks. We can uh, we can try out 12 post, we can try Rectus Bombardment. Five color elementals you'll just, you'll devour, probably. Well, I, I was thinking about playing my own decks, my uh, okay. non-net decks. Five. Got a couple that I've been toying around with. All right, well, give me just a moment. I've, I've got one I'm working on. It's not even close to done, but it is my pride and joy, or will be when it's finished. Uh, yeah, be getting your stuff out, if you'd like. I think we have time to play one, one game, before we have to okay. skedaddle. That's a word. Do you have any um, Inquisition of Kozilex for trade, by the way? I don't have any, period, I'm afraid. Thought Seize and Cabal Therapy, no Inquisitions. So Let's tell see. me when you start seeing the, the deck. I'm going to do it one card at a time. Savannah. Okay. And that obviously isn't enough to give you the deck. Thomas with Savannah Lands. I, oh, you t I know about this deck. This is the Turbo Fog. Yep, this is Turbo Fog. Oh, Forest sick. Conceptor, Moments Peace, there's an extra for Popper. Yeah. Um, but not that you can play an extra in Popper. You know what I mean. Uh, suddenly we turn it into Freeform Magic over here. Um, Constant Mist. To combo with Crucible of Worlds to just fog forever. Mm. Uh, Dawn Charm is what I'm actually playing over Tangle. Check it out, it's a misprint. Oh yeah. So for the for the camera. On top? <laughs> Nothing on bottom. Ah uh, I didn't buy it as a misprint, it just came and I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Uh, silence in the sideboard, probably. There's three of the ancient tombs, the one that's missing is missing. And Blind Obedience is a side card. For Sneak Attack, they'll come in with haste, but they're tapped. So you'll never be able to, unless you uh, can get yeah. rid of it with Echoing Truth or something. Yeah. Um, Blind Obedience is also in there for the uh, Red Deck for the red deck Wins. Is Orm's Chant? Sorry? Orm's Chant? Orm's Chant is, no, I, I haven't ordered Orm's Chant yet because I'm trying to, when I order them, get the promo, which is expensive, which is what, like 40 bucks each? So I'm trying to hold off on that. Um, wait till I can actually get the, the good one first. Um, same thing with Crucible of Worlds. And I'm not going to be able to do that with, like, Windswept Heaths. Uh, when I got the Windswept Heath that's in this deck, it was well, it was well under 100. Uh, so 
I could not do that going forward. They're about 200 a pop now. Really? They are. Or at least the uh, windswept heath is. I couldn't imagine how much the polluted delta is. I couldn't give you that. I thought they were like 100. Unless they've gone down by a crap ton. Uh, the modern land's got a lot more expensive. The modern fetch has got a lot more expensive. Very I thought. Now, what, now, I'm talking judge promo. Oh, the judge, judge promo. promo. Okay. okay. That's, that's where we may have been getting confused. Yeah. Gotta have those promos. Well, I'm hoping they'll resell better than the other, or resell for a higher amount than the others, inflate better. Um, that's part of the reason for it. Partially just to show off. It's not like I have money, but if Dude, I can buy them early. You should foil your moments pieces. They're probably not that expensive. I, mean, I don't think they came in color. foil, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I have uh, foil there. forests from back in the day. Odyssey. Did Odyssey foil? Yeah. It did? Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I know sets before then, huh. around the same time, foiled. Okay. Because I, I don't remember, I may be wrong, I don't remember ever seeing a Nimble Mongoose and a Delver deck foiled. That may be, that may be wrong, though. Uh, you know how the light is at, at uh, Star City Games. You're looking over the top. Do you think they would only foil, like, lands? Because I, I know I have, like, foil forests, but they might not have foiled. I, no, to I, put a little, I think like, star. Yeah, I would bet that you're right. The one with the trail around it. Yeah. Yeah. If if they have a foil land, I I suspect you're right in that they have foil moments piece as well. Um, that was when they were getting into the swing of it. I don't remember when they started foiling though, so I'm reluctant, especially on camera. I'm reluctant mm -hmm. to say, oh yes, they had it too. And then, well, you know, you can edit that out later. Yeah, about that. You don't edit? No, I do edit. I just... The first, our first two videos, or the one with uh, Patrick playing Storm and you, uh, the first one with you, I did not edit. Everything after that is. And just not nearly everything after that is on YouTube. Nope. I've still got a, a game against Merfolk, a game against Affinity, um, what else? Uh, some modern games where five color elementals is my shtick. Um, I honestly don't remember what else is yet to be put up. Hmm. I, I think maybe some super duper casual games against some friends. I'm not sure if I'll be putting those up. That looks like child abuse. When you're mm -hmm. you're running a deck that can kill on turn two and they're running gates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's. That just no. That's probably not where I need to be. Yeah, foils are like pretty varied. Mm -hmm. There's one for two bucks, one for oh well, I guess plus shipping it's like three bucks, three or four bucks. Alright, it's a good card. This is like a time capsule. We we record this now and then we look back a year, a year from now after this deck becomes <laughs> huge. Right? Heck no. Um, these are why I eat bread and peanut butter and mixed veggies. <laughs> I save up for these sort of things. These purdy ones. Yeah. Alright, well, enough of that. Want, do you want to play? Or do you Absolutely.